Hello, my name is Elena Reed, and I bring you greetings from the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church Healthcare Ministry. Today, I'm going to be talking with you about the vaccines available for coronavirus. The COVID-19 pandemic is considered a public health emergency. As a result, the FDA authorized the emergency use of vaccines to help prevent the spread of the virus. The two vaccines now, now available for emergency use are Pfizer and Moderna. These are mRNA vaccines. They are not live viruses and they do not interact with your DNA. Once injected, it triggers an immune response which produces antibodies that protect you from getting infected if you do in fact get exposed to the real COVID-19 virus. The Pfizer vaccine is a two-dose injection separated by 21 days and the recommendation is that you are 16 years or older. The Moderna vaccine is also a two-dose injection separated by 28 days and the recommendation is that you are 18 years or older. Please complete both doses of the same vaccine product to optimize protection. What do I mean by that? If you start with Pfizer, in 21 days you cannot switch over to Moderna. If you start with Pfizer, you end with Pfizer. If you start with Moderna, your second dose in 28 days will be Moderna. Contraindications and precautions. These vaccines are not recommended in pregnant women and children. Also, some people have experienced allergic reactions. So if you have really bad allergies, please take precautions before proceeding with these vaccinations. And when I say really bad allergies, I'm not referring to seasonal allergies requiring Zyrtec and Allegra. I'm referring to people who have to carry an EpiPen around with them. If you have had an anaphylactic reaction to something in the past, it is my recommendation that you go consult your primary care physician before proceeding with the vaccine. Vaccinations. Also, there have been some cases of Bell's palsy reported. This is under investigation and the FDA has not officially concluded that the vaccine was the cause of these conditions. Commonly asked questions and concerns. Should I get the vaccine if I already had COVID-19? In short, the answer is yes. There is a small likelihood that you could develop COVID again after already having it previously. Um, for that reason, the FDA and CDC are recommending that you do get vaccinated. I have to also say that if you are actively symptomatic of COVID, do not go out and get the vaccination. Please wait for your 10 to 14 day quarantine period to end before proceeding with vaccination. And another question that we commonly hear is, what if I have underlying medical conditions? If you have underlying medical conditions, you can receive the vaccine. However, I still urge you to consult with your primary care physician before you go out and get it. This will make sure you do not have any contraindications to the vaccine itself. Because the vaccines are new, there's still limited data on the safety and efficacy. And so people with certain conditions like immunocompromised patients or patients with autoimmune disease, please go out and consult your physician before proceeding with the vaccinations. Another question we often get is after two doses, will I have to go and get a booster every year like I do with the flu? The answer to this is the need for and timing of booster doses, doses for the um, Pfizer or Moderna vaccines have not been established. No additional doses beyond the two-dose primary series are recommended at this time. Where and when can I get the vaccine? Right now, we are administering vaccinations here in Georgia. There's a three-step plan, and we are in phase one of that plan. Phase one, the vaccine is going out to healthcare workers, residents of long-term care facilities, adults age 65 and older and their caregivers, law enforcement, firefighters, and first responders. Those are the people in phase one. Phase two is going to be the essential non-healthcare workers who perform jobs and tasks across critical infrastructures um, and also public health officials. Phase C is anybody that's between the ages of 16 and 64. So for that reason, 
right now if you are not employed at a health care facility or you're not in a long-term care facility or 65 and older you cannot receive the vaccination at that time however if you do fit in that phase one criteria and you want to know about the vaccine please go and call the Richmond County Health Department or the Com Columbia County Health Department or the Evans Medical Group that's also in Columbia County and they can help you with finding a location to receive your vaccine. All these places are going by appointments only. Finally, I just wanted to kind of wrap up with the fact that whether you're vaccinated or not, which we do recommend that you do get vaccinated, you should still follow the guidelines to protect yourself and others. Wear a mask in public, wash and sanitize your hands frequently, avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth, disinfect surfaces, and avoid crowds. Try to maintain your distance if you are out in public. I wish you all well, and I love you all and miss you. Have a good day. Bye.